Let's dive in. Have you ever come across one cent piece with an odd shape? This coin is valuable due to a mint slip up. The error coin resulted from die misalignment during the minting process, creating a striking example of 1943 Lincoln cent that is 15% of center towards the north. Graded as mint state 62 by PCGS, this zinc coated steel coin produced during wartime copper shortage features. A significant minting error where the strike is shifted, leaving the part of design missing. This off-center error enhances its rarity and appeal among collectors. The MS62 grade indicates a mint state coin with minor imperfections, preserving much of its original luster. Such error coins are highly sought after for their uniqueness and the glimpse they offer into the minting process. Recently, it was sold for $552. This is another issue that was widely said by the rule and is common in average mint state condition. Spotting and staining are common issues for 1955 D cents, along with poor strikes from worn dies, contributing to the rarity of top grade pieces. While die erosion is less evident on these cents than on their Philadelphia counterparts, small die breaks, such as the once popular buy breaks within Liberty, are common. Several repunched mint mark varieties exist along with a collectible double diverse variety. This particular rarity was graded mint state 67 red by NGC and sold for $1200 on July 9th at Heritage Auctions. Moving on with this beautifully toned 1952 S Washington Quarter, graded in mint state 67 plus by PCGS and later grade was confirmed by CAC. This high grade coin stands out for its exceptional condition and eye appeal, attributes that are critical for collectors. The MS67 Plus grade signifies a near-perfect coin with minimal imperfections, while the CEC endorsement adds further assurance for its quality. Despite the relatively high mintage, few examples achieve such top grade, making this coin particularly valuable. Its pristine condition and certification enhance its desirability among numismatists, reflecting high standards of both PCGS and CEC in coin collecting community. Sold on July 9, 2024 for $408. Do you notice massive circulation rub and tarnish on this half dollar? Even in such poor looking condition, this coin fetched $276 on July 9 at Heritage Auctions. Graded as good 6 by NGC, the 1921D Walking Liberty of Dollar is rare and sought after coin with a low mintage of only 208,000. Graded good 6 by NGC, this coin shows significant wear but retains its major design elements. The 1921D is particularly notable due to its low production number, making it one of the key dates in the Walking Liberty series. Coins in this grade are often well circulated with many details smoothed out from use, yet they remain highly collectible. The scarcity and historical significance of the 1921 The Walking Liberty Elf contribute to its high demand among collectors. Moving on to this, 1944S Jefferson Nickel, graded mint state 68 by NGC. Like many S mint coins of the 1940s, the 1944S Nickel was generally poorly made. The dies were overused, resulting in weak strikes in areas such as steps of Monticello. Specimens with fully defined steps, five steps or six steps, are rare. In 1944, two San Francisco Mint employees introduced a dual color system that allowed two die pairs to be mounted in a single press. This innovation nearly doubled the output of smaller coins but have contributed to less detailed impressions. This MS68 superb gem example recently sold for $396. If you haven't joined the Coinas family yet, hit that subscribe button below and ring the bell to stay updated on many things numismatic. Next we have 1948D Washington Quarter in Mint State 67. Although 1948D quarters are typically well struck and lustrous, they have an unusual high number of contact marks. This has resulted in a significant drop-off in certified population from MS66 to MS67. This phenomenon affected Denver Mint coins and all denominations during this period, with the 1949D half dollar being a particularly notable example. This 1948D quarter graded MS67 by PCGS is high-quality coin from mintage of 16,766,800.
The MS67 grade indicates a superbly preserved coin with only minor imperfections visible on their magnification, retaining its full luster and sharp details. While the mintage is relatively high, coins in MS67 condition are much scarcer. As few have survived in such pristine state, the daymint mark denotes its origin from the Denver Mint. This specimen was sold for $312 on July 9, 2024. Since the economy recovery came slower in the Midwest than in the rest of the nation, than in the rest of the United States, Denver's coinage production did not keep the pace with that of Philadelphia. Despite a modest mintage by later standards, the 1930s for the cent is common in all grades and gem mint state examples exist in sufficient numbers to satisfy advanced collectors. The challenge with 1934 descents is in finding well-struck specimens from fresh dyes. The Denver Mint returned to its old practice of overusing dyes and permitting them to display severe erosion lines and loss of detail. This specimen was graded MS 67 red by NGC and it was sold for $1,200 on July 9, 2024. And concluding this episode with one of the most renowned and sought after pennies, 1969 S. Lincoln cent was double diverse. This specimen fetched staggering $66,000 just this year at Heritage Auctions. This beautiful scent has fully brilliant orange luster with satiny, slightly reflective surfaces and bold design features. A few tiny surface marks and minor obverse spots are all that prevent a higher numerical grade. The date, liberty, and in God we trust are all boldly doubled, sharply enough that the doubling can be seen without magnifying glass. This is part what makes this double die variety so popular. There you have it, guys. Rare US coins that are worth big bucks. If you're as excited as we are, hit that like button, subscribe for more hidden gems, and check out other coin adventures in our channel. Who knows, your next big find might be just around the corner. Take care and God's willing, see you in the next episode.